Hey guys, it's Comicalibus Studios here, and today we are going to be talking about the recently announced Wildcats Revenge coming to Hershey Park in 2023. Obviously, you all know the announcement was yesterday, November 2nd. It is definitely one of the most anticipated coasters opening next year in 2023. I personally was very happy and very excited to see this announcement. Ever since Wildcat was announced to be closed in the summer at Hershey Park, we all knew what was coming. Whether it was a GCI Titan track or an RMC, which it wound up being, everyone was very excited to see what would happen to Wildcat. For those of you who don't know, Wildcat was a GCI wooden coaster that operated at Hershey Park from 1996 until this year, 2022, where it has since been closed and is being renovated and redone to become Wildcat's Revenge, a 140-foot RMC hybrid coaster. Obviously, Hershey Park fans and fan coaster fans all across the northeastern United States, and I'm sure across the whole country and the whole world, are very excited to see another RMC coaster come to the world, and of course, an RMC coaster coming to Hershey Park, their first coaster by the company. RMC has taken the coaster world by storm with incredible rides like Iron Gwazi, Steel Vengeance, Lightning Rod, the list goes on and on. They make absolutely incredible attractions, and it's really really great to see one of these coasters being added to Hershey Park. Hershey Park is a park that has an incredible roller coaster lineup as it is. They have rides like Sky Rush, Storm Runner, Candemonium, Fahrenheit, Great Bear, the list goes on. So in this video, as opposed to giving necessarily my full thoughts on Wildcat's Revenge, I'm going to hold off on that for a little while because it seems like everybody's doing that. I want to do something a little bit differently. And that is to take a look at where I believe Wildcat's Revenge will rank among Hershey Park's roller coasters. Like I said, Hershey Park has an absolutely phenomenal lineup of roller coasters, arguably one of the best lineup of coasters in the whole country. So let's take a look at their lineup a little closer and figure out where Wildcat's Revenge will rank in this lineup compared to their currently existing coasters. Now, this really comes down to what you think of the ride, just looking from the outside in. Obviously, none of us have ridden Wildcat's Revenge, nobody has, but I'm sure many of us have ridden rides that are similar to what Wildcat's Revenge is going to be like. I personally have ridden many RMC coasters, many RMC coasters too, that are very similar to Wildcat's Revenge. I get a lot of Iron Gwazi vibes from Wildcat's Revenge. Personally, I don't think it's going to be quite as wild as Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi is one of my favorite roller coasters. It's super intense, so much airtime. Wildcat's Revenge is a little shorter, a little smaller, but it still looks like it's going to pack a punch. So I'm going to mostly be comparing Wildcat's Revenge to a ride a little less than Iron Gwazi, somewhere around that range. I do think it'll be towards the middle or upper tier of RMC coasters. So using that as my guide, let's take a look at Hershey Park's coasters. Hershey Park has a very, very great lineup, mainly of coasters that are towards the top. They may not have that one coaster that is absolutely the best coaster in the world, unless you really, really like Skyrush. They have a lot of really great rides. Skyrush, like I mentioned, is an intimate hyper coaster. It's extremely intense, pretty uncomfortable, has some of the strongest ejector airtime in the world, will make you gray out many rides. It is a very intense ride. Taking it down a notch, you have Candemonium, which is a B&M hyper coaster that opened a couple years ago. It has some really, really good floater airtime, and I'd probably rank it towards the middle to upper tier of that ride category, being B&M hyper coasters. It's not the best ride in the world. It's definitely a little on the shorter side, as is Skyrush, but it still is a very fun ride. Then you have Storm Runner, an Intamin hydraulic launch coaster. This ride actually has the same type of launch as King De Ka, the world's tallest coaster at Six Legs of Great Adventure, and this ride is phenomenal. It's been a while since I've been able to ride Storm Runner, but from what I remember of this ride, it is just great. The launch sends you absolutely flying, and that whole layout, while well, just like the other two coasters, is pretty short. It does have incredible, incredible elements. Every single part of that ride is just great. You have a great airtime filled top hat, and many other weird crazy inversions that all lead to a really really great fast-paced ride then you have fahrenheit which is a very strange intimate coaster has a vertical lift hill beyond vertical drop very similar to a ride like maverick or other intimate blitz coasters that are very tight compact and have a lot of strong elements but this one's a little different having more of a focus on inversions but it's still a really fun enjoyable ride that has some intense moments 
Then you have Great Bear, which is their B&M inverted coaster. Think Batman the Ride at Six Flags Great Adventure, just on a different level. This ride is spread out across the hollow section of the park, going near Sky Rush and Super Duper Looper, flying down by the lake. It really is a very fun ride, a very intense ride, has great inversions. It's a really, really solid ride. From there, I think the lineup of Hershey Park does take a slight dip. That's not to say that these rides aren't excellent, but they're pretty good. I wouldn't call them the best of the best. They're still really good rides. You have rides like Lightning Racer over near where Wildcat used to be, where Wildcat's Revenge will be, a dueling GCI wooden coaster. You have Laugh Track, an indoor spinning coaster. You have Wild Mouse. You have Super Duper Looper, one of the first looping coasters ever out there. You have a really strong lineup of supporting coasters at Hershey Park. Now, as if I haven't made it clear enough throughout this video, I do not think that Wildcat's Revenge will be ranking towards this end of Hershey Park's coasters. I think Wildcat's Revenge will definitely be towards the upper tier, but just how high will it go? Well, I definitely think that Wildcat's Revenge will top rides like Great Bear and Fahrenheit. Well, yes, I really do enjoy rides like Great Bear and Fahrenheit. I do think Wildcat's Revenge will have the edge. Wildcat's Revenge is going to have a great drop, tons of airtime, and it'll have the great inversions that make those two rides so good. Well, it may not have the super high positive g-force intensity of fahrenheit and great bear i do think overall it will wind up being a better ride but then again that's also due to my personal preferences in roller coasters i personally prefer rides that are more focused on airtime while i do love intensity i will take airtime over intensity hence why i think wildcat will be better than these two next we have the next sort of tier of coasters at hershey park which i would consider to be storm runner and candemonium these two rides kind of go back and forth for me for the second, t second place spot behind Skyrush. Both rides are really good, but for totally different reasons. Storm Runner, as I said, is very intense, very high-paced, just great, great elements. Whereas Candemonium is similar to other rides I've ridden, but it does the elements that those rides do very well. However, I do think Wildcat's Revenge will probably beat both of them. It'll be a little tight between Wildcat's Revenge and Storm Runner. I do think ultimately Wildcat's Revenge will take the edge over both of these coasters. Now it comes down to the hardest battle for this coaster, which is Skyrush. Skyrush is a ride that you either love or hate. More people love it than hate it, or some people just like it. I think Skyrush is a really excellent coaster. I wouldn't rank it quite as highly as other people might. I just think it's a bit too short of a ride for me to really consider it a top, top tier coaster, like top five level, but I do think it's definitely a top 20 coaster. It is a very, very solid layout with great airtime, some great whip, and that is what makes it so hard to decide between Skyrush and Wildcat's Revenge. There's not many coasters like Skyrush out there, but there are quite a few coasters like Wildcat's Revenge. So I do think that really we will have to wait and see when we ride Wildcat's Revenge to see if it will become the best coaster at Hershey Park. This is not one of those situations where immediately it looks like it will be the best. I do think I will have to ride Wildcat's Revenge to ultimately decide if it beats Skyrush, but for now, I'm going to say that it might take just a slight edge over Skyrush. I personally prefer most of the RMCs that I've ridden to Skyrush, and looking at it statistically like that, it's very likely that Wildcat's Revenge will ultimately beat Skyrush for me personally. But, of course, this is not a fact, this is just my opinion, and really, this opinion isn't even valid. The ride isn't open yet, it's barely started construction, so we're all going to have to wait and see what will wind up happening, what we'll all think of Wildcat's Revenge until it opens next summer of 2023. But that's going to about do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for some more Wildcat's Revenge content coming in the near future. I'm not going to blow the channel up with exclusively Wildcat's Revenge, but I do want to say what I have to say about the ride because I'm very, very excited for this coaster. But that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.